So Earl Nightingale said, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. That's what I want to talk about. Now I want you to look at this picture right here. You've got this lady who's kind of jumping over this gap, right? She looks like a businesswoman, looks like her goal is to get a job, whatever her dream job is. She, maybe she uh, is trying to be a real estate agent, or maybe she's some kind of entrepreneur, or maybe she's a lawyer, and she's trying to get a job as a lawyer. So she's got to cross this gap in order to get to her goal. And that's the success that she wants. So when we're really talking about success, we're not actually talking about getting the job. We're talking about the steps in order to get to the job. How do we get from point A to point B? Okay, so I want you to look at this. Imagine that success is like a bridge. It's the steps in between where you're at and where you want to be. What does it take for her to get that job? Well, if she's a lawyer, then she's got to go to eight years of college. She's got to pass the bar exam. She's got to do all kinds of stuff. Then she's got to apply for a firm. She's got to do stuff like get these business clothes. She had to buy this bag. She had to study. She had to make sacrifices. All of her friends wanted to hang out and party. She said, I can't party this weekend. I have to study for, my, for the bar, for my lawyer exam. And she had to do all of these steps in order to get the job. Okay, but once she gets the job, then what? She's gonna want something new. Now we're not gonna get to that part in this video. But what we're really talking about is this part. Okay, success is the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Her worthy ideal is that job as a lawyer. And this is the progressive realization, the becoming of that dream from thoughts in her mind into the physical reality. So here she is at first standing on this side of the mountain saying, I have a vision, I have a dream of being a lawyer. What am I going to do to become a lawyer? Now if she just stands there and thinks about it, but doesn't do anything about it, well, that's just daydreaming, that's just being delusional. Yeah, I'm going to be a lawyer someday. Really, what are you doing about being a lawyer? Ah, uh, I don't know. Haven't really done anything yet. Right, you're just fantasizing, you're just daydreaming. Until you take that physical step, right, to start crossing this bridge. You know what? You're thinking about being a lawyer, and then you say, you know what? I'm going to start moving in the direction of what I want. I'm going to go buy a suit. Okay, that's the first step. So you... Uh, Go to the store and you buy a suit. That's the first step on that bridge. Now you're moving in the direction of success. What do I do next? I should probably enroll in college. And you do it. You go to the college and you enroll and you start going to school to become a lawyer. I need to make connections. Who are, are there other lawyers? Are there firms that I can get a job in? How do I get to the next step in this bridge? and you just keep crossing this bridge. And sooner or later, you finally get to your goal. So there's a famous quote of mine. I like to break it down as, success is the bridge between where you are and where you wanna be, right? So if we look at the picture again, that's what success is. It's not about actually getting the job. And it's not being over here, just not doing anything about it. It's when you start taking those steps that is the success. So let's go into it a little further. Success is the bridge. So for example, here's the origin of your new desire. This is your point A. This is where you're at right now. For example, my goal is to climb Mount Everest, right? You're a rock climber. You want to climb Mount Everest and you're, you're standing, I don't know, you live in uh, North Dakota and you're pretty good at climbing rocks. You go to the rock climbing gym, you climbed a couple of mountains. You went to Yosemite and you climbed a Half Dome, Full Dome, El Capitan. You've been doing some really good rock climbing, but you want to climb Mount Everest. That is the goal. You want to reach the summit, right? The goal, point B. You reach the top of Mount Everest, the summit. Standing there going, yes, right? 25,000 feet in the air. That's your goal. So how do we get there? How do we climb Mount Everest, right? Well, we're going to start crossing the bridge of success. So we're moving in the direction of the goal. For example, 
We're actually going to the store and actually buying climbing equipment. We're actually purchasing the flight to Tibet, China. We're actually physically climbing up Mount Everest, step by step by step. I think it takes about six weeks to get up that mountain. 25,000 feet is five miles high. There's uh, a vertical ice wall that's 20 feet up. You've got to have those spiked shoes. You're going to have ropes. You have to have knowledge of how to tie knots clove hitches, bowlings. You're gonna have all kinds of crazy tools. You're gonna have to have these uh, jackets and thermals and helmets. You have to sleep in sub-zero temperatures. You have to have a tent on your back. You have to have all this climbing equipment. Six weeks with all of this stuff in a backpack. Things that are gonna help you along your journey. You have to have all of this skill and knowledge of things to do. And then you've actually gotta make the journey for that whole six weeks to get to the top. And then you gotta figure out how to get back down. All right, so let's imagine we do all that stuff. We buy the equipment, we book the flight, we get the tour guide, and here we are. We reach the top of the summit. We reach our goal, we climb Mount Everest. We took a selfie, you did a whole photo shoot. You achieved success, you achieved your goal. Now what? Now what? Apologies, the, uh, the light went out. I'll have to recharge that on the break. But uh, now what? You're at uh, what I like to call a new expanded vantage point, okay? You've achieved your goal, now what? What's next? Example, you climbed Mount Everest, great, now what? And that happens 100% of the time with any goal that you have. You say, I wanna be a lawyer. You become a lawyer, now what? Okay, you're a lawyer, now what? You work for a firm, now what? Well, I kind of want to own my own firm. Oh, okay, so now we get to the goal, but now we have a new goal. Okay, now you own your own firm five years later. Now what? Well, I kind of am tired of being a lawyer now and I want to go into real estate. Oh, okay, so we have a new goal now, right? You're a musician. What's your goal? Um, I just want to write my own music. All right, cool. You get good at playing piano and you, you write your own piece of music. Now what? I kind of want to get signed. Maybe I want to put a video onto YouTube. So that's your next goal. And you get there. Now what? I want to play in front of people. Okay. So you play in front of people. Now what? I want a bigger audience. Oh, really? Right, so your goal, whatever, whatever your goal right now in this moment of what success is or whatever you want, once you get there, you're going to have a new goal. And once you get there, you're going to have a new goal. It just, it, this goes on and on infinitely. Right? So, for example, here we've got a guy. He's climbing up this crazy ice wall trying to get to the top of Mount Everest. You finally reach Mount Everest. There, there she is doing the selfie. We achieved success. We did it. We climbed Mount Everest. Mm, that's cold air up there. They're five miles high above the clouds. Can't even, can't even see anything. The air is thin up there, but she did it. Achieved success. And then I love this picture because now what? This is exactly what we're talking about. You achieve success, that moment, it happened. You achieve success, now it's over, now what? Now he's gotta climb back down the mountain. Okay, you achieve success. You got all the way from thinking about it when you lived in uh, where, where, North Dakota, we were talking about. Okay, you got all the way to China. You climbed up the mountain. You got to the summit. You achieved success. Now what? I guess you got to go home back to North Dakota now. And you're going to figure out and reassess your situation and your goals and what you want. And then you're going to say, well, I already climbed Mount Everest. Now what's my goal? Maybe I want to write a book about my journey to the top of Everest. So now you have a new goal. Now you want to be an author. Now you're saying, well, I climbed Mount Everest. I have all these great pictures. Now I want to make a book. I'm going to write an e-book. The journey, my journey to Everest or whatever you want to call it. So now you have this new goal of, I'm, an, I'm going to try to be an author. I'm going to make a book about Everest. I'm going to sell it, make a million dollars. Okay, so now you publish the book. Now what? I want to make a million dollars. Okay, so now you got to market the book. Now you got to make websites for the book. What's your next dream? Oh, okay, well, I want to start uh, doing a, a, a tour. Since I'm an author, I'm going to go to different bookstores and start uh, doing speeches about my book and market the book. Oh, okay. Just going to keep going on and on and on. Miley Cyrus has a quote. Uh, it's actually a song. It's The Climb. And the lyrics really 
goes deep into exactly what we're talking about. And it's actually the opening quote that I started with my book because it makes so much sense. Just like in the, the, the famous quote, success is a journey, not a destination. Right? It's, it's the climb. It's not about getting to the top of the mountain. It's the moving towards getting to the top of the mountain. It's the climb. It's the climb up the mountain because once you're at the summit, now what? That success is over and you're going to start a new dream. So what success really is, is the climb. It's the climb. It's from being from point A and taking that first step and then moving towards your point B, towards your goal. And so the lyrics to the song are, there's always going to be another mountain, right? Because once you get up the mountain, now what? I, there's another mountain to climb. I'm always going to want to make it move. Always going to be an uphill battle. Sometimes I'm going to have to lose. Ain't about how fast I get there. Ain't about what's waiting on the other side. It's the climb. Okay? It's not actually getting to the goal. It's not to reach the summit because that only happens for a moment. The success is there for a second. For, for, for just a second, you can kind of grasp it and experience it. But then what? What's your next goal? There's always going to be another mountain. I'm always going to want to make it move. I want to get to the next goal. Right? So one of my quotes is, uh, success is not something that you hold on to. Success is something that you are reaching for. You're always on that journey and you're reaching for success because once you actually achieve it, then it disappears, dissipates, it's gone because there's going to be a new goal. I also say success is something that is attainable but not sustainable. You can't hold on to success. You can't live in that moment infinitely. You just get to experience for a second. I really want a drink of that water. I'm going to move towards the water. I got the water. I took a drink of the water. Now the water is gone. And if I want more water, then I got to go to the kitchen and get a new water. What does success look like for you? What does success look like for you in your own life? Yes, there are tons of answers to this question. And every man's answers and or opinions and or goals and or mission objectives, etc., etc., are going to be different. And that's okay. You need to figure out what success is going to look like for you personally. Okay? Not the next man. What does success look like for you? Everybody is going to have a different idea of success. And you need to figure that out. I would suggest grabbing a piece of paper right now or open the notes on your phone and start writing, success for me looks like blank.